Here we are today with a Ford F-150. We're going to replace the door lock cylinders. Now our kit comes with two keys, two lock cylinders, one for the driver's side and for the passenger side. And these keys will work on both lock cylinders. If for whatever reason you would like to reuse your previously cut key, you can refer to our other video and learn how to recode the lock cylinder to your original key. But for today's purpose, let's go ahead and replace these lock cylinders with the new keys that came with the lock cylinders. First glance you may notice these look a little different. That's simply because this lock cylinder is a recess inside the door handle. We're going to have to remove the door panel inside of the truck and then we're going to access this door handle assembly, remove it, and then we'll go to the bench and swap out the lock cylinders. Alright, as you can see we've already removed the door panel. Not a tough job, just really two screws holding this in. The whole assembly slides up and remove it. Now that we've got the door panel off, we did have to go and plug in our window switch though because to do this job we're going to be working inside the door. We need the window in the up position. Next thing on the task list is to use our 90 degree pick. We're going to have to remove a couple clips that hold the door linkages in place for the, the lock actuator and for the door release mechanism. We're going to pop those loose. Then we've got a couple 10 millimeter head nuts here which we're going to release. That will allow us to access the door handle. Now that we've removed our linkages and removed the two retaining nuts, it's time to remove the door handle. We can pry away gently in the bottom and then we have to kind of swing it down and out. Because we have the hinge assembly on the top, you'll notice we also have a keypad on this particular truck, so we're going to have wiring hooked up yet. That still gives us enough room to swing this out and get away from what we need to do. Now we'll see the lock cylinder right here. It's held on just by one retaining clip. We're going to take our 90 degree pick, pry in this, and gently pull the spring away. Now we're ready to remove the lock cylinder. That simple. We now take our new lock cylinder, insert it in here, reverse the, the removal procedure, put the door panel on, we're done. Ready to go.